Hi everybody, it's Caitlin and I am at Stone Zoo with our Cougar Blue. And cougars have a lot of different names. So some of you may know them as a mountain lion or a puma or a catamount. They have a bunch of different names. But Blue <laughs> is a cougar that came to us um, about five years ago. And he was found, he was from Idaho. So the um, fish and game of that area had found a cub who no longer had a mother. So they had contacted our zoo about Blue coming to uh, live at our zoo, which we were very happy to be able to, to take him here because we did have other cougars at the time. He is now the only cougar uh, that we have here at Stone Zoo. But he got his name because JetBlue was able to fly him over here for us from Idaho to Massachusetts so that he could live here at Stone Zoo. So that's how he got his special name. But I do have some pictures here. Not sure if you can see them of Blue when he was a baby. So when he came here, he was just a few months old. As you can see, those spots, they are covered in spots when they are a baby to help them camouflage. And you can also see those blue eyes that change as he gets a little bit older. So when he first came here, he was a very active baby and uh, we had our keepers giving him tons of enrichment and he was in a smaller space while he was young until he came over to this exhibit and he was able to be on his own in this bigger exhibit. So cougars come from um, the west coast so up into Canada all the way down the west coast of the United States into Central and South America. Their populations in Central and South America are a little bit unknown right now, um, but they are known to have existed in that range. So they are carnivores. So we also have a skull here. This is a cougar skull, the size and shape that it would be. And I'll show you in their mouth here, those really, really sharp teeth, because they are eating only meat. And so here at the zoo, he does get, <laughs> he went towards the back now. Um, he does get uh, raw meat um, almost every day of the week. There is a day because carnivores, uh, eating all of that meat can be tough on their stomach. So they do have one day where they do not get meat and they get a bone. So that's a day to help them digest all of that meat and get it through their system. So that's what all of our uh, big cats do here at the zoo. <laughs> so I also have here one of uh, a cougar paw print and that you can see as he's coming forward right now how large those paws are and with cats you can see right at the front there how he didn't have any claws because they have retractable claws so what blue is going to do when he needs to catch his prey is he's able to have those claws come out and catch them <laughs> so that's a really important thing for cats they need to keep them nice and sharp and then by also keeping them in inside they're they're making sure that they can stay nice and sharp after they sharpen them but so that they're ready to be able to get their prey so cougars are known for he he found a spot in the shade today <laughs> it's getting warmer so they are known for being able to jump very far they can jump up to 15 feet. So they, they use that really long tail to help them balance and to help them jump. And they are typically a solitary animal, meaning that they spend time on their own. But uh, I was actually recently watching something that over the past five years, they found that they will see the cougars spending time together, adult cougars. Um, one example of a mom and her cubs, their dad actually came to join them for meals sometimes. So it was really cool to see that they're actually finding that there are some instances where they're not completely solitary and they will spend time with some other adult uh, cougars. But cougars are, some of their numbers are declining in certain areas because they live through some very tough winters 
Um, and so that makes it very, very hard for their babies to survive through the winters sometimes. Um, so they are, they do have some of those threats in their natural range. So I hope you enjoyed learning about Blue, our cougar, and that you can come and visit him soon.